Tom Noir now. For this particular day that's in it. Heading towards the conclusion of the day. It's a fitting and, an, and uh, a very correct tribute. And this is not staged, I can tell you. These riders behind are absolutely full-blooded in their pursuit of the world champion, but he is putting on a world champion's pursuit and uh, he's uh, putting on a world champion's performance. To the final moments of uh, stage seven in Weinfeld and they bang the boards and they celebrate and they thank Remco Avenable for his response today points to the sky this one in memory of Gino Maiden victory for Remco Avenable An effort he didn't need to make I suppose he'll say he absolutely did. And uh, a little bit behind, the gallop commits. Garcia going for the runner-up spot, uh, coming through in the middle of the group, while Matt Van Aert's second again. Bars in frustration around him, but it's Matt Van Aert that has got the uh, second place. The one two for Belgium, victory for Remco Evenepoel. Yep. Matt Van Aert across the line in second place, but uh, he'll be first up, I think, to congratulate and to understand what a symbolic gesture it was to see a rider of the particular stature of Remco Evenepoel show such an interest in taking the victory today and then to be able to produce what was needed that success. They'll come in and drip some drafts for a while now. The necessity to stay with the group is removed with 25 kilometers to go. Those that have the watts, the interest and the motivation have given us a professional display. Sam Oman has uh, played his role this week. The entire Yumbo Visma squad, I think, can be satisfied. Nothing they could do about Remco Evenepoel in this kind of form. See how lights it up. Looked like he timed it nicely indeed. I think that's Manzin going for uh, second place, but coming through in the middle is Wat Van Aert. for Kofidis. Oh so close to a decent result. 